much is a wooden tangram set? What, like 20 bucks? 30? Is that way off? I don't know. It's 2014. I don't own anything made of wood. The reason I'm asking is, this has more than 600 tangram puzzles, and it's like 7 bucks. Plus there's no cleanup, which is another drawback of wood. There's splinters and cleanup. It's 2014. Who has time for that? It's tangram style for the Nintendo 3DS. So, I guess tangrams, uh, you know, they were invented in ancient China or something. What a place to be, by the way. Ancient China. Like, nightly. They were shooting off fireworks, throwing tangrams at each other, like ninja stars. Actually throwing ninja stars at each other. Horrible food, but other than that, what a place to be. And tangrams, you had to be wasted on Huang Zhou to come up with something like this. But who wants to play with wood when you have fireworks? Nonetheless, that's what this is about. Playing with wood, tangram puzzles give you a shape, along with a whole bunch of shapes. It's your job to create the shape using the shapes you're given, basically to fill it in completely. Sounds easy, but it's not. Fitting these shapes into the outline is never as obvious as it seems. It takes a lot of twisting, turning, maybe a little Huang Zhou as well. But anyway, uh, 600 puzzles is a ton of freaking puzzles and they're split among four game modes. So there's a classic mode, uh, which is where you'll probably spend the most time. These are tangram puzzles at their purest, with no gimmicks. There's also a challenge mode, uh, which is actually kind of cool. You have to solve a certain amount of puzzles and a certain amount of time before the gate closes. So it's classic tangram gameplay, but with the pressure of a timer. There's also a mode for kids, which shows you where to put the shapes. And there's the opposite, an expert mode called One Touch, in which you can't take back your moves. I call that the this mode. You know, Tangram style is interesting in that it has a lot of game modes, but it's also very traditional. You know, it doesn't get too video gamey. It's not like there are power ups or falling blocks or turtle shells, or anything. Every mode is a simple variation on Tangram, so purists will like that. But on the other hand, it can also get a little boring, too. After a while, it's like, okay, now I want some explosions. Like fireworks! Fireworks would have been a fine addition. Fun and historically accurate. I'll tell you what's less accurate, though. Why am I solving Tangrams in a jungle? What, are, there, are there jungles in China? Because when I think ancient China, I don't think jungles. So the aesthetic choice is kind of weird. Of course, when you're focused on the puzzles, it's it's not like you're paying attention to the graphics. Besides, the game looks fine, but the sound? Yeah, sound gets a little rough. With all these birds chirping and the natural sound effects. I mean, I get that it's meant to be relaxing or zen or whatever, but it's not. It's just annoying. I hate nature. I hate nature! Unfortunately, this is a game you play muted anyway, given the nature of the gameplay perfect game to play while you're paying attention to something else. Music, podcasts. I was playing this while listening to Slayer. Time just flew by. Slayer and Tangrams. Who knew? Anyway, the presentation's a little generic, and the straightforward nature of the gameplay might turn off people looking for something more creative, but if you're looking for a simple Tangram game for your 3DS, this eShop download's a great place to start. It's Tangram style for the Nintendo 3DS. Evil has no Tangrams. Tangram awaits. Raining Tangrams. Behind the crooked Tangram. See what I mean? It just makes so much sense.